Hi there! Today's video is all about a capsule wardrobe. So first, to just give you some context, a couple of years ago, I had this idea of trying to minimize my cupboard and really think about what are pieces that are so extremely loved and so practical and trying to think of how many outfits can I build around one pair of trousers. And I was toying around with this idea in my head and then later on I realized that it's already a very much well-known concept called a capsule wardrobe. So to, if you don't have it, if you have no idea of what it is, let me explain. The idea is to have only 36 items in total but with multiple styling options. So items that can work very well with one another. The idea was formed because in the 1930s, the average woman had about 36 items in her cupboard. So therefore the 36 is not too random. It was actually, it's because it was an average. So why would anyone create one? The idea is obviously very appealing to anyone trying to live a more minimalist life. It is great for decluttering, earning less, and being able to do more with less, right? If you can't either afford it or you just want to own less because of the environmental cost or you just don't have space to have as many clothes, right? A capsule wardrobe really allows you to streamline your style, simplify what you have, but also very much aiming to still remain as stylish as possible. A capsule wardrobe is obviously adapted for the two seasons, so every six months you will reassess your wardrobe. The whole idea also plays into the concept of buying quality and not quantity, and that is obviously something that I love and you've seen in so many videos of mine already. Instead of buying cheap clothing that doesn't last, that will probably lose its color, and that you will throw away or at least feel like you want to throw away after a couple of wears. Another fun fact, so we said in the 1930s, women owned approximately 36 items and today the average woman owns around 150 items. So we are definitely consuming much more than the average woman back then. The 36 items is there for you to be able to dress it up or dress it down. But I don't actually want to say that you have to be able to dress up and dress down because it needs to suit your life and what you like and whatever you are doing with your hours in every single day. So if you don't need to dress down and that is not really the look you are going for, then don't do it. And if you don't want to dress up all the time, a capsule wardrobe is also built around a, usually a color palette because you need to be able to mix and match different um, pieces of clothing with one another and usually it's just a little bit more easy to do that when you have a color palette that works well with one another but again that does not restri restrict you if you like crazy bold colors and mix mixing and matching patterns with one another so how on earth do you build a capsule wardrobe? First of all, take everything out of your closet. Put everything on a big bed or a table and have a look at it and really think about each item. And you're gonna divide it up into one of three piles. First pile being the things that you absolutely love wearing, the things that you feel so extremely comfortable in, and you're gonna put that to one side. The second pile is going to be the things that you can't wear right now because of the season. Those things you're going to neatly fold up and pack away where it will not clutter your cupboard. And the third pile are the things that you are just not wearing. Whether it's things that you know you hate or you know you bought impulsively or if it's just something that you've been trying to like make it work but it's not been working for say a year maybe two years rather donate it give it to someone sell it there are lots of different options now take pile one back and put it in your closet and have a good long look at it whatever is in your closet now that is your style that is the colors you like the textures that you appreciate the silhouettes that make you look good look at the length 
of the dresses, the pants, your sleeves? Is it more formal or is it more relaxed? Because now you are really able to see what you are really wearing. Not the things that you aspire to, but the things that really suit your lifestyle. Whatever is in your closet now, that is what you need to build around. So that is going to be the core pieces within your capsule wardrobe, or at least give you guidance as to what core pieces you need in your capsule wardrobe. You might already see that there are lots of gaps. For instance, you have quite a few tops, but not a lot of bottoms. Or you realize that you definitely need a specific top in a specific color because that is something that you've been wanting for a really long time. This is the time to really make very conscious and very careful choices and fill the gaps with much care and lots of attention. If you are too afraid to immediately go into the shop and fill the gaps by spending money, what I suggest doing is if you have a friend, a sister, where you can perhaps borrow a coat or see if that item, say for instance, you wanna buy you know, a brownish knit and you're not completely sure if that's gonna work in your closet, maybe borrow one and try on a few outfits to see if that is something worthwhile buying and really including in your capsule wardrobe but the point is you need to fill the gaps in order for your cupboard to work for you remember that each piece that you are buying now need to work in multiple ways and with the existing clothes in your cupboard after completing your capsule wardrobe stop shopping at least for one month and really try and mix up the clothes that you have in as many ways as possible. Do not buy anything because that will force you to really identify if there is still a missing piece in your cupboard. After the month, if you've completed it, it successfully, you already have your capsule wardrobe. If you really identified that there's something that you need and that you can't live without, Go out and buy it. And don't be too hard on yourself if it's not exactly 36 pieces. The whole idea is to scale down, to declutter, and to simplify your style. Remember, a capsule wardrobe is not supposed to be a punishment. It is something that is supposed to bring you joy because it really makes it so super easy to pick something in your cupboard and always look and always feel good. In six months, you will repeat the process with the next season. Before you run off and build your capsule wardrobe, I know that there might be a few questions popping up. First of all, no ceremonial clothes are included in the 36 items. If you own a lot of saris or you go to a lot of formal events that you need clothing for, keep that in your cupboard. That does not count towards the 36 items. The other things that don't count are underwear, sportswear, and accessories. Some closets might say that shoes are included in the 36 items, but you don't have to do that. Again, this is not a punishment. This is the whole idea of decluttering and streamlining your style. If you need some more inspiration, go onto YouTube, type in capsule wardrobe, and be inspired by a lot of creators who have done it already. I haven't done it. Do you think I should? I'm not really sure if I should do that. I've been decluttering a lot. But if you would like to see me build a capsule wardrobe, please comment down below. And who knows, maybe I might build one myself. Thank you for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed it. Please do give it a thumbs up if you did. And consider subscribing to see more upcoming videos from myself. Thank you and have a good day. Bye.